we love pets. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the easiest way to put it. They represent the best of our families. They're incredibly loving and resilient and just always bring a smile to our faces. So we just figured why not take care of the best of our families. We try to be quirky, like we want to bring sustainable and unique items that are good for your pets. <laughs> Business is always about making a profit, but our goal isn't only profit. We want to care for your pets as if we care for ours. Mm -hmm. Our community, the Park Circle community, mm -hmm. I really don't call it a community. Park Circle is really a family. <laughs> There's a couple crazy people in our family though. You look on Facebook, but <laughs> but uh, we're really a family here and people are intentional about supporting us. Mm -hmm which is, it's not something I take lightly. We don't take lightly, you know, we see it as a blessing from God. Getting to know the folks that come in and out every single day, getting to know their pets, getting to, you know, I think build trust and build that relationship is so important because a lot of times there's such divide in our communities and there's an us versus them sort of mentality, but when you're sort of sharing the same space together, having the same laughs, you know, experiencing a lot of, of what we experience as part of pet ownership, but just life in general. Um, I think it just helps draws us back to what our community is, the best of our community, and again, how we can help and support. I mean, we take pride in being a black owned business just because of, of the the liberties that we didn't have and haven't had at, at some points and the struggle for for equality and equity is still there and so just to know that we're part of the of of the big business part of part of the pie I think is really important for us but most importantly because we dared to dream um, I don't think being a business owner was ever in our future and so just to know that it's our possibility and we're living and breathing it just lets us know what else is possible also with the, the stigma sometimes come along with African Americans owning pets is mm -hmm. if people oftentimes think that they could be mistreated mm -hmm. or just not as cared for but it's good to see a diverse community come through our door really mm -hmm. all walks of lives all mm -hmm. colors we like to partner with other businesses and we like to partner in unique ways and so if uh, someone has a cool partnership that we have the space for and can accommodate for you know we love it we plan events for pets so we're here and we just, we, we want to be a part of the community. And something else that we uh, offer is a free food program oh, yeah. for anyone who's been like significantly impacted with COVID-19 issues, especially in the food and beverage um, industry. It's an honor system. There's no paperwork to fill out or anything, but if you need free dry dog food or cat food, we have options for you here at the store that we're more than willing to part ways with. So, you know, again, it's about community aspect people look out for us, so it's only right that we look out for others. Mm -hmm.